question of Lamas? B62. Yes. I, have, I have raised my hand 10 times since this morning. Yes. And, you seem, and you seem never to see me. Yes. I, cons I, I consider this unfair yeah. and a discrimination, Madam Speaker. You cannot yes. not see me at all times. Since the yes. P and Q, I have yes. raised my hand. Yes, please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down, honorable member. You have been in this August Assembly for several years, and you know very well what the standing orders say. I need not quote the standing orders for you, but it is for the speaker to decide on the relevance and the number of questions which are asked on a particular topic. It's not possible it's, that you couldn't have not seen the me. Point Ten... of order. Please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. This is not a point of order. And you cannot challenge. There's no debate on the ruling of the speaker. We proceed on the next question. Please sit down. Next question, Honorable Amos. Please sit down. Next question. Please sit down. Please sit down. Honorable, Honorable Ganu, please sit down. You cannot. Please sit down. Honorable Ganu, please sit down. I w there is no debate on the ruling of the speaker. You are out of touch of standing orders if you are saying so, and I won't debate on you. Next question, Honorable. I will order you out. Honorable Ganu, please. Please, I'll order you out if you continue. Next question, Honorable Amon. Next question. Please sit down and you don't challenge my authority. Would you continue, Honorable Ganu? I order you out. Honorable Ganu, I order you out. Honorable Ganu, I have said, I order you out. If now you're challenging my authority, Honorable Ganu, I give you a last chance, otherwise we will have to take action as appropriate. The standing orders are very clear on the rights of the speaker. The standing orders are very clear on the right of each honorable member. I feel personally that the honorable member's place is inside parliament and not outside and if you don't know the standing orders you know standing order 26 1 i will quote it says that it is for the speaker to de to decide on the relevance the number and the timing that i give on each question i don't have any more explanation to give to you i have already ordered you out since you've challenged the authority of the chair so it's up to you to decide whether you want this or you want further sanctions? I have not challenged the authority of the House. I have expressed my opinion that as a, as a member of the House, I have the right to ask questions, and it is not possible since this morning. I, you have not I, seen I, I me at all raising you. my hands. I won't allow you. Are you. I have ordered you out, Honorable Ganu. I remind you once again of another standing order, the standing order 3910, which says that the discretion of the speaker in calling members to address the assembly cannot be challenged. So are you prepared to accept that sanction of being ordered out, or do you want severe, more severe sanctions? It's up to honorable member to decide. of the people I have a right as a member to ask questions and this is what I have done and I have expressed my opinion that you are not allowing me to ask questions since no. this morning. I want Honorable Ganu, I have quoted the standing orders several times to you. I am being very patient and I have told you that you have, there is a discipline in this house. There needs to be a discipline in this house and the discipline is according to the standing orders. I apply the standing orders. I am taking the patience of saying this because I believe that everybody should know
that discipline is according to the standing orders. Are you prepared? Last time I'm asking, otherwise then we will have to take sanctions. Understand. I've given you some few minutes to consult your uh, colleagues. I understand that you're not prepared to go out. I've ordered you out. So, Honorable Ganu, I will have to take further sanctions. And uh, I suspend the sitting so that we come back with the sanctions to be taken against you.